Good evening. What today is Thursday, September 7th, 2023, ship day four, Friday the 8th. All right, let's go. Well, no setups again tonight. Out of, I think it was 1,400 stocks in my pullback scan. We're seeing fewer pullbacks now because it's a little long in the tooth as far as the market pulling back, obviously. But anyway, I only flagged five and uh, none new made it to the Landry list out of those. And these are kind of just representative of, of some things that I am seeing. LFMD getting to the portfolio did hit, uh, right, it's right at new highs since we got in. If it continues to close at new highs, we'll start bumping the stop again. We've already bumped that stop, uh, I think, 40 cents if uh, memory serves so far on that. So knock on wood, or I hate to say hope, but hopefully we'll bang on that IPT and get it up to break even and then trail loosely. We'll take a look at those stocks in just one second. GRPN, it looks okay. It could use a little deeper pullback. It's got a lot of trouble. A lot of overhead supply to deal with. KBH continues to look like a major top remains in place there. Meta still looks like a top remains in place. I just want to point that out like I did last night because it's, it's you know, when you see a big stock like that in a little bit of trouble, you want to pay attention. As goes these big stocks, uh, so goes the market. Such as, let's take a look at like Apple. That's why Apple's in my uh, market list. As you can see, Apple got whacked today off its worst levels, but just not looking that pretty longer term let's take a look at a bow tie on that since we got it up just for s and g's yeah you're well below that 50 obviously bow ties have obviously uh flipped over to the downside they, they went back up for a minute and then they're back down again so that's just not looking too pretty did recover off its worst levels but i wouldn't get too excited about that nonetheless let's take a look at the portfolio LFMD, decent day there too. Not quite to these new closing highs. Once we get above 475, from maybe a little bit more, we'll start to cinch that stop up. Looks like it's still trying to break out of its range. One of the better looking stocks out there. Just not a whole lot to look at. And I'm going to flesh out a few more things in just one second. KNF, not a bad day there. Just honor your stops just in case, but kind of hanging in there. It's one of the few stocks that looks okay in the database. And KBH rallying a little bit. Shorts are always a pain in the butt tox, as you probably know. Still looks like a top remains a place on that guy. All right, let's take a look at the overall market. There's a few things I want to shake out, flesh out, I should say. Let's go back to the S&P 500. And one thing that's kind of interesting, it just this is kind of typical of what we've seen a lot of lately. Notice a narrow range, just kind of a choppy day, a fairly narrow range in here. And the market just kind of didn't get anywhere. And that's kind of indicative of what's kind of going on internally it's a bit of a microcosm everything's just kind of choppy still looks like a possible head and shoulders in the works but you know the routine We're, we don't trade off of that we just pay attention to these things and if we get signals within it then we begin to look, get a little bit more concerned but we are still back uh, down below the 50 simple moving average and the bow tie moving averages for that matter let's take a look at the nasdaq nasdaq composite as you can see a little bit of an opening gap reversal so that is a good thing that it closed off its worst levels but still down nearly a percent on the day so that's certainly not a good thing and then we're well below the 50 simple and then the bow tie moving averages too for those keeping score rusty looks ugly still in here just not much to get excited about that they're down about a percent on the day looking kind of ugly shorter term and longer term just all over the place not a good market for a trend follower as far as that's concerned let's take a look at the energies energies off a smidge in here so far so good though i am seeing some energies at new highs so we could see some setups here really soon. So let's just sit tight there. The great thing about energies, as you probably know, is they can trade independently of the indices. So that could certainly be a good thing. Back to the ugly department. Banks not looking so hot in here. I was looking at regionals earlier. Looks like they want to go back down and test their recent lows. So that's certainly not a good thing. M&C, a little bit of a bounce. Still looks toppy, though, as I've been saying quite a uh, bit retail coming back in here a little bit depends on what index you're looking at this one looks a little better than the other ones not too far from these highs you look at the etfs they're not quite as good as that transports continue to slide in here at multi-month lows next support down here so the reason i'm showing you these areas is it's just not that pretty out there for now now it could change quickly but then you've got the semiconductors gap down today didn't recover from the gap sold off fairly hard recover from selling off hard but not in the not back to the plus column and not even trying to close that gap. In fact, down 2% on the day. So that's another one of those ugly things out there. So in general, it's just not that pretty of an environment. But hey, as I preach, when it's like this, especially if you can only find a few setups out of, out of 1,000 or 1,500 stocks, whatever the case may be, 
then you just sit on your hands and just wait it out. And, and that, that again, and I know I preach this every day, but that's the secret of trading is knowing when not to trade. And now is not a time to be trading. Let's see what happens tomorrow and the next day. We start getting some really decent looking setups. Obviously, we'll start putting them on. But for now, let's just sit tight. Everybody have a great night. If you have any questions, you're routine. Thank you so much.